This is Damon Stevens with Finwell Builders, and today is Tuesday, July 13th, 2021. This is a stock market update, and hopefully you saw uh, and recognized what we talked about on Monday, which is that we were going to possibly see a turnaround Tuesday, that the market sometimes on Tuesdays will reverse and kind of pull back a little bit the opposite direction or it'll go up either way. Whatever the market did on Monday, it kind of does the opposite. So uh, that's what we call turnaround Tuesday, but uh, we did see that today, so hopefully you're prepared for that. Uh, and uh, let's get into the stocks and show you kind of what we're looking at and what we're trading today. Uh, if you look uh, again, subscribe to our channel if you want to get more content and, and trade ideas. Uh, but this is uh, definitely focused on what we're trading and what we're working on and looking at each day. Uh, again, we're not the financial advisors. Um, and uh, so, but, uh, and we're showing you what we're trading. Uh, we don't recommend any of, the, any of these trades. Um, but just want to give you some ideas out there so that you can uh, find uh, find some ideas on how to trade or what we're trading at least. And let's get right into it. Uh, Dow Jones was down at 0.31 percent. Nasdaq down 0.38 percent. S&P 500 down 3.35 percent. Uh, uh, you can see on the the heat map here, you can see the Fang stocks kind of pulled back up a little bit. They had a little resting period. They pulled up again. Uh, Ryzen did as well. And then we had some cooling. Tesla had had a nice little run and. Now it pulled back about 2.5%. We'll talk about that one as well. Amazon pulled back a little bit as well. And you see a lot of red here. Um, so there was very few that were kind of in the market. But you see, one thing that uh, we haven't seen for a few days, and that's China. Uh, China was is looking strong here. So um, hopefully that rolls over to you know, a, a good day tomorrow uh, where we can see some of that strength uh, roll over into the US as well. But we'll see. Um, but in the meantime, uh, the... Uh, the scanner um, found uh, a few stocks here, IHPI, uh, RCAT, and OSAT, uh, and then a few of these others have been on our list before. So let's go ahead and get into and cover those. Um, IHPI, so that hit our scanner today. Uh, you can see that uh, you know the low here was $3, and the high uh, that we hit uh, actually was here at uh, you know almost $12. So huge run today. Uh, if you didn't catch the first part of this run, hopefully you caught the, you caught the remaining of the run around $7. And if you did miss it, uh, this first run, which is up to you know around $9, a little over $9, uh, hopefully you're able to catch this pullback. It pulled back right to the 20. We talked about this in almost every tonight video about the importance of these uh, emerging, these uh, moving averages. So you see it pull back against the 20, found support and rallied back up to the high of the day, which is around 11.50. Pull back again, you could have probably caught this one as well. I didn't catch this part of it because I was on some other trades, but I could pull back down to just around $8 and rally back up again. So you at least get a dollar, dollar and a half on the rally back up again. And then we had to pull back. And so we talked about retracement. We talked about this every video as well. And so you can see we, we had a almost a 50% retracement the first round. Another 50% of this, this move here uh, another 50% retracement and then pull back up, another retracement. So uh, obviously the market uh, is uh, following its current trend, but you can see that we have uh, a lower high here, the higher high here, and then back to a lower high here. Um, on a small time frame, I would, I mean, some people would say this is a head and shoulders. I'm just telling you that, you know, right now, it looks like it's very bullish. Um, we did pull back below the moving averages, uh, but you know, uh, we, we can see if we can trade this a few more days. Uh, this is on our list. And let's uh, see if we can take advantage of that. Uh, if you look at the next one, RCAT, you can see that it uh, was here around $3 and hit a high of around $6. So, uh, you know, double. So, I mean, you could get almost 100% if you got the whole trade, but typically they don't hit the scanner uh, until they start getting uh, volume and momentum picking up. So hopefully you're able to catch this at least halfway through. Um, maybe around three or four dollars, and I was able to write it up to this close to the six dollars. You see that you had a nice pullback though, clear back down here, almost uh, two thirds of the move, uh, and found support here around four dollars, and you rallied back up to five. So at least you could have got another dollar on a small stock like this. You can buy a lot of shares, so it doesn't take a whole lot to uh, to move it. Fifty cents, and you can uh, have a great return on on this kind of stock. Uh, so, um, but you see, we rallied up, pulled back. We're, we're riding on this 50 here. So we're gonna see if this uh, continues to give us um, some trades uh, in the days going forward. So good stock. We, we like those stocks that give us more than one run. 
Um, so if you ever miss one, just know you may get another, another chance at it. Uh, so BLIN, B-L-I-N. So this one's given us multiple days, um, but we're gonna talk about you know, today. So as far as what we have current here. So you can see uh, that, it, that uh, it gapped up um, it, and uh, you had a chance to, to either get in pre-market or if not, you could catch this tail end. Uh, but this was on our list. This was on our watch list. Um, you can stay, see that it entered in about eight, 840 and uh, rallied up to uh, almost $10. Pulled all the way back down to around seven dollars, uh, and sitting there pretty flat, seven to seven fifty. So we're gonna watch to see if this continues to give us additional days. Uh, we're liking this one. This is uh, continue to, to perform well for us. Uh, MOXC is another multi-day trade. You can see if we just look at today's um, action, uh, you can see that uh, you had this nice rally up from the day before, uh, up to uh, you know around thirty dollars and fifty cents. A pull back to the fifty. And you had good support along these moving averages, which would really give you a great entry. And you should have a lot more confidence too with this many uh, moving averages all together, bundled together, um, squeezing that stock higher. So you can see here we're um, right on that 50 and ran back up you know, around $31 and we pulled back again to the 50. So you can see that we're getting good support here, you know, and getting good consolidation here. So we'll see if this gives us another run or two, um, but still a uh, still good stock. Uh, UNCY. Big, huge gap up. Um, and uh, you can see here that we rallied up from uh, almost $4 to almost nine. So great run. If you caught any of this, you can see a big, huge pullback here. Pull back to almost $4. Got another run up to six fifty. dollars So that, that's okay with the size of stock. Again, you can, you can make some good money off of that. And then a pull back to $5 and then back up again. So this one I was trying to catch at the end of the day, just this last little piece. Um, and then I just, you know, decided to just just close out of the position. And so I closed out of this one, made my money, you know, on the first run, second run, I just ended up just, you know, come out not very much. So a um, couple of bucks and I just, I just got out. But uh, anyway, uh, Tesla, Tesla gave you a nice, um, nice run yesterday. Um, and then, and then we had a little bit of a cooling off. So you can see, you know, starting today, we just kind of and I traded, you know, down. So if you had puts on on this, on Tesla, then you know we made some good money here. Or if you were able to short it, uh, you know, you pulled from six ninety three uh, down to, you know, we talked about this on the videos like multiple times, almost to the six 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 level. So we got support here right on the two hundred. We'll see if that holds tomorrow. If it breaks down, we could start to retest back to these levels around six fifty four uh, or lower. Um, but uh, if it can hold this two hundred, we'll look for another bounce up. Again, like I said, I won't get really serious about Tesla until it gets up, you know, around the 700 range and breaks through uh, that uh, major resistance up there. But, you know, in the meantime, you know, five, 10, $20 uh, run every day with Tesla, you, you can't go wrong in there. Uh, Amazon, Amazon, you know, you see this little curl back, right? It's a retest and, and hopefully find support there at uh, 36.77 and run back up to this 377.73. And if we can break through there, then uh, you know, then we can uh, continue moving up um, further there around 38A. Uh, if not, then we have this long gap down here, the 20 at 35.43. So just be careful. This could pull back and retrace. It's almost retraced. It's retraced half this candle. You know, we possibly see a retracement of the full, full candle, which also moves us into this next uh, big breakup candle. So. Um, that would be the next one for it to chase down if it does start to go negative and doesn't find support here. But we'll uh, we'll watch it, keep an eye on that and see what it uh, ends up deciding to do. Uh, Google, nice uh, long run. Today we're still above that line, so we didn't come back. We didn't come back and check in, but we're still staying above this new trend line. So uh, this could become a new channel for us. It could continue moving to new highs. Um, so we'll see what uh, what it can do. Uh, 2680 would be the next level we're trying to shoot for. So we'll see if that does. If not, it'll break down possibly this 20. You can see the 20 with support here, here, here. So 20 is a good support for the stock. Um, Apple. Apple has given us a nice little rally. We talked about this several days as well. Um, it did a little bit uh, of a pullback here, uh, and then it kind of rallied back up off that five. So that's that's positive. To try to rally up to new highs, uh, more likely that's what we're going to see again. Uh, 150 is the mark that we talked about in the, in the prior videos that we're trying to shoot for. If it pulls back, it could pull back to this 10 to 141 or down to this 20. 
um, which is 138. So um, hopefully Apple continues to stay uh, positive for us. Uh, the dollar, dollar is just kind of bouncing up at this top. It's at this resistance here and trying to break through. So we'll see if it breaks through, um, but as long as the dollar stays fairly down low, uh, then the inflation fears um, could possibly be kept more at bay, uh, even though we have uh, the, the talks that came out today kind of create a little bit of a knee-jerk reaction in the market uh, today. Um, and we have another one coming up tomorrow. So we'll see what that brings. So just be careful tomorrow. Uh, if you see wild swings, it's because uh, the feds are speaking to us. And uh, that's, uh, there, that, that puts fear and volatility in the market a lot of times. Uh, so the VIX, you can see the VIX um, pulled down and then it started rallying back up here. Um, so it gave us a little bit of pop here. Uh, you know, it's showing a lot of strength here, uh, bullish strength here on the on the VIX. If it does that tomorrow, you know, we could look at possibly the SPY and the triple Qs pulling back a little bit further uh, from today. So um, this is okay because that's just a little spike, a little blimp on the maps. But when you start to see the bullish momentum uh, moving up on the VIX, that means the SPY momentum is going to be coming down. So just just uh, be careful there. Uh, you see our trend line here again for the SPY. SPY just settled down, still above the, all the moving averages on the five. Uh, triple Qs, um, triple Qs, same thing, very bullish, uh, above the five and all the other moving averages. So it's still very strong. Semiconductors, kind of flat today, but still bullish. IWM, so we, so we pull back down below the 100. We talked about this in a few videos and then rally back up to try to get up above these moving averages and we pull back again and retrace a lot of that space. But it did find support on the support line at 222. Uh, so we'll see if it can bounce off of that or if it's gonna retrace back down to this 217 level that we were at before. Um, if it breaks below that, we're head towards the 200. So just uh, watch out below. It's a long, a long way down there. So um, we'll see if, uh, if uh, the small caps can uh, continue to can rally us out of here or if they're gonna start to become bearish and start to head down. Uh, financials, again, was pulling back here towards the 100, out of the channel, pull back in channels, channel so far, everything's staying in the channel. A little bit lower today, it ended low, but still on these moving averages. So we'll see if it continues to stay above this trend line. If it does, it'll slowly kind of creep up there. Um, but for now, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's at least above support. Uh, gold, gold, you know, we talked about this one. It's given several days. It's kind of flattened out a little bit, but it's trying to move, trying to get above all these moving averages. If we can get, break this uh, 1812 range and get, uh, you know, up here above this next range, then we can kind of start to move into towards 1858. It ranged this big old breakdown candle is the next candle to climb. You can see that this breakdown candle, we've pretty much hit the top of it right now. So sometimes stock will pull back when it hits the top of a candle. Um, but we're above the 200 moving average. So hopefully that will create enough support for it now that we can rally up. So gold's looking good. Silver, uh, right in channel, you can see it's struggling to get above that resistance. So if we can get above there and hold, uh, that'll be good. That means that the silver's on a, on a good streak to uh, head north as well. Bitcoin pulling back still. I just hovering under 33,000 right now. You can see the support line we have down here, 31,400. And, you know, we, again, we're just kind of still in a bullish market here on, on the, the Bitcoins and Ethereum had a rally up, but pulled back, but still sitting on the uh, five and 10 moving average. So we'll see if it can hold that Dogecoin under the 200 now. We'll see if it finds support. Should be probably going to, I mean, at this point, it looks like it's going to probably go down to the support down here, low 16s again. If it breaks the 16s, uh, it could have a, a ways down. You know, eight, eight could be on the docket, um, but we'll see what it can do. Uh, we've been consolidating and, and dropping here uh, for, you know, a few weeks here. So we'll see what, uh, see what happens. Everybody stay safe out there. Um, make sure that you're using the scanner. Make sure you're watching the SPY, S&P 500 and the, and the VIX, because if the VIX starts going way up, then that's going to drag everything down. Um, so just be careful out there. Lock in your profits. Make sure you're protecting your capital. Uh, and, and take advantage of these, uh, these trades. And if you're in long-term trades, uh, like some of these uh, FANG stocks, uh, you, you know, money's been pouring in there, but at some point it'll, it'll pull back out, uh, especially if financial starts to recover. 
Um, but I'm sure there's some concerns out there. Uh, we'll see hear more from the feds tomorrow. We'll see what that brings out and uh, see if that uh, either continues to move us forward, uh, going to new all-time highs or start to have a little bit of a pullback. But stay safe out there. Everybody have a great night. We'll talk more tomorrow.